Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and man, do I have a review for you today. So as you guys could see, this is a light that I was doing a review about. Uh, you could definitely check that out in the description below. I love it because it had, uh, you know, it has uh, barn doors. It's a bicolor light. But I was looking for something a little bit bigger. Uh, it lights me up really well. Uh, I'm not even, you know, up to the intensity that I, you know, that's the maximum. So this is a real good light for YouTube. But then I wanted to know if this um, company, Generay, made bigger lights. So I went and took a look. And I think this is more for studio work. If you're doing green screening, if you're doing other stuff. Uh, I got the package for about $250. You could wait in B&H till they have like deal zone. I mean, I, I choose B&H because it's New York. Uh, sometimes in uh, deal zone, they have their, uh, dis uh, you know, they discount it even more. But I bought it for $250. It came with stands, uh, you know, two of these babies, uh, two stands, and I think that's it. You could also get them if you want with batteries. But, you know, I wanted something for studio work, uh, for YouTube especially. So I wanted to see how the heck this thing is going to do. Uh, the first thing I'm just going to get out of the way before I we do the unboxing and the full review and i'm going to show you guys how uh, you know how it works and everything the first thing that i wanted more than anything on it was barn doors unfortunately this version doesn't have barn doors out yet uh, according to what i heard it's coming out in like four to six weeks estimated time eta so i don't know when it's going to be out but when it is it, this is going to just make that stand above the rest now this is a bicolor light for those of you guys that don't know what bicolor is it's anywhere from 3200 to daylight of 56 uh, hundred, uh kelvin so uh, that's pretty much what it is it works with battery power this baby which is great if you're doing studio work if you're doing movies any kind of thing independent films this baby is the way to go i'm telling you right now off the bat i saw it in action but is it good for YouTube? That's what I want to do. This is what this whole channel is about. So, uh, I mean, channel. Uh, this is what the segment's about. So, in the end of the of this video, see the playlist. You'll see everything that I review for a home office. Okay, this is for anything home office, and then you know YouTube, anything that you want to do. This looks really nice. Okay, so let's do the unboxing, ladies and gents, for the Spectro LED SPE 500. Uh, two, I guess, IIB as in boy. Uh, so it says portable lightweight fi uh, 504 LED lights, produces 3200 uh, to 5600 Kelvin, color temperature dimming from 100 to 0, AC DC adapter, which I love, uh, optional battery power if you want to do a battery, and it has a yoke, uh, quarter inch uh, mounting options, a stackable because you could put them one on top of the other and get a nice big square of lights to give you about a thousand and uh, eight, I guess, LEDs which is friggin' amazing and uh offset diffuser included okay so let's get right into it okay guys so it comes in a box like this let me just get this out of the way here uh if you guys could look from every angle possible trying to show it to you blah blah okay now we're gonna do the unboxing okay so let's see what we got here all right so let me just uh, raise that up a little here get some voice on all right so comes in nice foam here as you guys could see protects your gear really nice um you know while it's in shipment oh my god look at this baby look at this baby guys unbelievable we'll get into that let me just put that aside here all right let me get these out of the way this is a massive beast there's no doubt about it and right here is the ac adapter okay nice big power <laughs> this is actually kind of funny because the the brick is small and look at these the cords here Um, instruction booklet and a diffuser okay so that's pretty awesome now the other one you guys remember the one that I did the review about which you'll see in the description and you'll see the review on that the bigger and the smaller one they had a diffuser already on it now that's already put in it which I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna gorilla glue glue this beast I don't know yet uh, but and I'll show you why so first off Let's take this baby out, okay? 
Let's see what we got here. We got here a beautiful yoke, which the other one did not have, so it was a pain in the butt, but you know, with a ball mount, you can kind of position it. This thing lets you position it with these wing nuts here. You see just these giant wing nuts, and you got yourself flexibility right here, okay? This is what's so cool about this because of this yoke. Um, and we're going to do also a review for the soft box for this. You're not going to believe the, that soft box. You better stay tuned for that because when you're going to see this, you're not going to believe it because this, all of this gear fits actually even in a bag that I'm going to show you guys and do a review on that as well. So right here, all the LEDs, okay? Now let's take a look at the back right here, okay? You got your uh, dimmer and your bicolor control, okay? And these nice options here. And of course here to power it up, on off switch. And of course, two batteries here that you can do and even see the battery power uh, as much as power as you have here. Now, this is really good because you can take it out uh, on location. You could take it out on a wedding. You could take it out in movies and, uh, you know, to do your movies. And you see here, that means you can stack them up. Like you guys remember the Z100s I got before. Z100 sounds like a radio show because that's what they're called too. But um, you can stack them right into these like shoe mounts and you get... 108 LEDs and a nice beautiful square if you wanted to. So this is really cool. I really dig this. Now we're going to see, there's only one thing I don't like about it. It's the oversized uh, diffuser. Now, of course, there's a reason for it. This is more made uh, for studio, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, but I really love it, and I think I'm going to cut it down to size and make it just uh, you know, a one-time application and call it a day. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, it just slides right in. Oops, okay, hold on. See, this is where I am confused. This way, okay. So, this is where... Hold on. See, you just gotta... This is what I don't like. It's light leakage hell, okay? Which doesn't make sense to me at all. Uh, but again, this is why I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to make it fit perfectly flat. And I think there's a reason to this. I'm not sure exactly why, but of course this is easier to pull out and whatever. But again, with light leakage and stuff, I don't see how, um, how this is practical. But then again, maybe not, maybe it won't have too much light leakage. Uh, I don't think maybe light leakage because there's some space here. But I don't know. I mean, we're going to see it right now. We're going to put this baby to the test and we're going to check it out. But like this. Okay, so you could, I mean, it's not a deal breaker because you could just cut it and call it a day. Uh, and I think this thing has, I'm not sure, but I, I think a one-year warranty on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's take a look now and we're going to put, uh, we're going to put it together with this. Uh, this is the manual. You don't really need that. Uh, it's really self-explanatory. So we're going to, oh, <laughs> okay. So we're going to look at this. It's a really nice. I really dig this. Um, you know, general, uh, power supply, not something really big, uh, you know, to, to rave home about, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like the cheap plastic. Usually they have, uh, these very empty, hollow, very cheap feeling ones. These are not cheap feeling. They actually feel pretty good in your hands. Um, and again, they're so good. They're uh, customer service and everything. If you ever have any issues, anything goes wrong, you could always buy parts and things like that. So you're not going to go, you know, you're not going to have uh, any issues with this. Uh, comes in a nice Velcro. Nice. Actually, I'm going to use this Velcro for... Uh, now, you guys know I do, I, I just built, uh, well, I modified an electric bike. So uh, uh, stay tuned for that. Definitely going to show you guys exactly how that works. Ooh, I love this L shape. Oh, my God. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Finally, people actually freaking listen to, pe to their customers. You don't know how much I love L shaped anything. <laughs> so we're going to uh, hook this up. Give me one second. Okay, guys, get ready to be blinded. Oh, yeah. Look at this damn thing. Holy moly. There's the intensity. You see from zero. Hmm. So let's see, like on the one here. See, this is doable. And then, of course, you can control it however you want. You see part of the color by color, which gives you that opportunity. And then, of course, <laughs> let's take a look how that looks here. Very, very nice. I mean, oof. So we're going to test this out and see how the heck this works. 
um, when I have it up on the stand there and to replace my other one. So as you can see, um, let me just take a look here. I just want to see. So there is no light spill, shockingly. Absolutely no light spill. And there's like distance. I, I, I had a feeling when I was telling you guys because there's room between it. This is kind of confusing. Uh, but uh, I don't know how they did it. But I'm still going to, uh, I just want a flat, you know, I want a flat looking like this. You see what I mean? I want something like this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it into shape and see what to do. And this is how it is without it, obviously. So you're going to see now, this is bicolor working at its best. So we're going to do it like this. So you guys are going to see uh, the dials here. Oh, here we go. So this is the intensity. Okay, I could do it all the way up. And of course, see there, that's the light. Mm, look at that. So really, really cool light right here so we're gonna uh, put it up right now on the stand and we're gonna see how the heck this looks compared to the other one okay guys so you can see this is the light it's working i, I put it in just the right intensity that i wanted it uh more on the 56 uh, kelvin ish and you can see this looks pretty freaking awesome it looks pretty dope now i'm gonna show you how the heck it looks from a distance okay so there's no light spill in this it's almost like it's trying to spill but it just goes above it in like a circle circumference in a way I, I can't even describe it but um you know it kind of sucks because when you when you're tilting it also you can't put that um you know that uh filter on there you just can't put the diffuser on it so it kind of sucks so i am gonna cut it make it in perfect size and just fit it right in it's not a big deal but also i'm probably not going to do it because i'm going to be using a soft box that i'm going to show you guys definitely stay tuned for that so let me show you how the heck this thing looks from a distance okay so you guys see, I have a ton of stuff I'm going to be doing reviews on. My old desk looks like a freaking nightmare. But guys, look at this baby. Look at this. So it does a great job in illuminating everything. It looks really good. And what it does, I think it does the job perfect. It is definitely usable for YouTube. I think it's really great. I just still think that, you know, the one I reviewed over there for you guys, the smaller one right there with the barn doors for now is a better option only because it has a controller. It has everything like that. It's more triggered for YouTube where this is more for like studio work. I am going to probably use this too. I don't know. Um, maybe, you know what? I am going to use it. I do love the amount of light that it gives. I think it's going to do, a, it's a nice upgrade, but I am going to leave both of them up on my uh, table to see which ones I would prefer. Really cool. Uh, I do love the barn doors on the other one because you could also close it and make it dustproof or this thing you can't. I'm looking forward to the barn doors on that. When it'll come out, I will definitely do a review and do an add-on on that and show you guys how beautiful it looks on it. Uh, so anyways, what do I give this light? Well, guys, this is a studio light. It's not meant really for YouTubing, uh, but if you do want to use it for YouTube, uh, I still recommend this one right here, the smaller, tinier one. But um, if you want to use it for YouTube, you guys go ahead and use it. I mean, it's really cool. I think it's really good. But it's made for more studio work. I've done green screening with this thing, so chroma keys and stuff. Really cool to have two of them. I, I would probably looking forward to buying about four of them. So another two maybe, uh, just to have a nice, beautiful set. And it'll come obviously with uh, stands and everything like that. So anyways, that's what I think of it. What do I give this light? Definitely, I mean... I would have gave it a 9 out of 10 because it doesn't have any barn doors options. But from what I heard, they said it's coming out in uh, four to six weeks. If, that's, if that is true and they're actually working on it, which I do believe it is, they never lie. So I am going to give this a solid 10 out of 10 for YouTube. I will still say it's an 8 out of 10 because it's kind of tough when you're doing it yourself and you don't have a controller to hook it up, uh, you know, to hook it up to. That's a real deal breaker for a lot. And I would go with a smaller one right there by Genere, uh, which you can look in the description below. I'll show you guys. There's even, I got an even smaller one, half of that for my wife, and she really loved it too. This is really a nice option. I really dig it. The thing that I love about it most is the fact that it has a yoke. So you could also position it however you want and you don't have to worry about it. The diffuser for me personally is a joke. I rather cut it and make my own and put it there permanently. But again, I'm using a softbox that's portable, so definitely stay tuned for that. But um, I mean, it's really good for what it does. I mean, you guys could see this isn't even at 100% and it's illuminating everything just perfectly as you saw me uh, with it illuminated. Obviously, I have that one off. So you guys see how it looks. It looks really cool. Anyways, guys, 10 out of 10, I would say 
Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to say, yeah, 8 out of 10 for YouTube, <laughs> definitely. 10 out of 10 for any studio work that you have. The fact that you can pile it up and make, you know, two into into one giant one of a hundred of a thousand and uh, and eight LEDs is remarkable. The fact that you could take this on the go with batteries is remarkable. I mean, there is no bad thing to say about this at all. I mean, even the diffuser that I'm bitching about, they're throwing it in for free, and you could cut it. So it's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker. If you get that soft box, even better, which I even highly recommend. But anyways, this is what I think of it. That's my two cents. Definitely 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you buying it? Or are you not? This is the reason I opened this channel. I buy these things with my own money. You know, everybody else, you know, these paid for reviewers, they get everything for free. They tell you something's good when it's not. This is the reason I opened this channel in the first place, right? And you guys are the jury. I know you guys offer me Patreon services and all that, but guys, I work three jobs to make this happen. You know, I always say this. I love you guys. I rather you keep that money. We live in uncertain times right now. I'd rather you guys keep that money. Do what's good for you. Invest in your family. Spoil them. Spoil yourselves. Buy the tech. Uh, I, you know, you could wait till they go on deal zone they have in B and H, uh, which they go on sale. You could probably even get it even cheaper. But two, come on, two hundred and fifty dollars with stands and everything, and they have a battery package as well with batteries and all. I mean, really, this is a steal. Really good. I could see this being extremely long lasting, built very ruggedly. I really dig this a lot. I mean, can there be improvements? Of course they can. Uh, I would love to see in the next model, maybe if they could put a transmitter in there, that would be awesome. You know, a transmitter that you could control, like a controller, like this one right here. You see, I loved, I love this controller. You don't know, like you could control everything there while you're seeing yourself. You know, when you're doing it yourself, it's kind of hard. You have to keep going in front of the camera, change a dial, go in front of the camera. It's a nightmare. But if you're behind the camera and, you know, you're behind the lights filming somebody else, this is a very, very good uh, light that you're getting at a steal here. So this is definitely a really good one. And like I told you, the adapter too. It's not like those knockoff, you know, hollow, cheap plastics. They're pretty good. They're built to last, I could see. So definitely something good here. Um, definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. And def definitely look in the end of this video, the playlist, so you'll see everything I reviewed for home offices, as you know, many of, of the people right now are working at home. And probably will continue to do so. Many ITs are going just strictly from home. Or, you know, you need to do Zoom. You need to do that. You need to do YouTube. It's great for a YouTube channel. Great for anything that you're going to do video-wise. So let me know what you guys think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.